The super conservative Louisiana governor recently signed a bill into law that requires a poster of the Ten Commandments be printed in a large and easily readable font and displayed in every classroom of every school that receives public funding. The law even includes <laughs> the sizing of the poster. It says the poster of the Ten Commandments can be no smaller than 11 by 14 inches. So in every classroom in Louisiana, in public schools um, and charter schools that receive public funding, they have to display the top 10 rules of <laughs> one specific religion. So this is obviously a violation of separation of church and state, right? This is almost too blatant. And if you think it's really just the governor trolling, you would be right. Because obviously the state of, Georgia, of Louisiana is now being sued by the ACLU. Um, but before that even happened, Governor Landry said, I can't wait to be sued. So he knew. He knew that this stunt would cause a lawsuit. Why is he doing this? Why is the state of Louisiana violating the separation of church and state so blatantly in schools? It's because they are testing the super conservative Supreme Court. They want this case to get all the way to the highest court in the country to see if the separation of church and state is still upheld or if there's now some magical wiggle room to allow Christo fascism, Christian nationalism to take over public education. It's all well and good to do these weird political stunts that are going to stress out teachers and confuse students, right? Like that's, that's one problem. But a lawsuit like this brought by the ACLU is not cheap. It's, an, it's not cheap for the state of Louisiana. Here are a few of the actual tangible costs possible for this kind of virtue, virtue signaling. Here are some of the, the fees, the legal fees and settlements that ACLU has received over the years from different cities and schools. So in 2017, uh, the ACLU won $500,000 from the city of Worcester over a ban on panhandling. Um, in 2021, a Virginia school board paid the ACLU $1.3 million in legal fees after the ACLU represented a student who sued over the um, transgender bathroom ban. In 2024, the ACLU won 50,000, about 50,000 in fees from the Clark County School District in Las Vegas and North Carolina Charter Day School had to pay the ACLU and its plaintiffs $1.4 million over a gender-based dress code. This is real money. Tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to over a million dollars or more that could be incurred when, not if, when the ACLU wins this case, that the state of Louisiana, the Louisiana Department of Education, will have to pay. Louisiana is not known for its public education. U.S. News and World Report has Louisiana as number 47 out of 50 when it comes to public education. They are number 40 for pre-K through 12 and number 49 for higher education. So they should not be the state that is wasting money on frivolous virtue signaling lawsuits. I went ahead and pulled up the Louisiana public school budget for 2023-2024 to see what kind of stuff a million dollars could pay for instead of some stupid stunt by their governor. 800000 for free school breakfast and lunch for students. So that's almost a million dollars. It costs almost a million dollars to feed students in need in Louisiana. So imagine what another million could do. Could probably feed even more kids. Six hundred. It takes $630,000 this year 
to provide a pilot program for online computer science for grades three through eight. We know that that's very important. And then it's $120,000 for the year to have dyslexia screening programs. So these are the kind of things that the school department is paying for. These are the kind of things that are actually impacting and improving students' lives. And you can see how 50000 500000 a million dollars or more, the kinds of things that that money could be used for. It's baffling, but honestly at this point not surprising, that a party that is supposed to be built on fiscal conservatism and economics, they sure do love wasting money on lawsuits that amount to little more than moral grandstanding. Shout out to the ACLU. I can't wait till you win. But I'm sad about the money that it's going to take away from the children, the students and teachers in Louisiana.